Alrighty then, season 6 has officially started and I've begun my placement matters. Which one? And I started off with a main man Jarvan. Aw oh, yes. Which two? I started off with him because he's my most comfortable pick. Trundle was available, Volibear was available, Kindred was even available. But I didn't want to pick any of those, I wanted to pick Jarvan. Anyways, attack damage reds, attack damage quints, armor yellow, magic resistance blues, 18, 6, and 6 masteries. Alrighty. Anyhow, I'm actually kind of off to a bad start because they have my blue warded and I'm very worried about Lee Sin. So you're going to see me start off with Gromp, and then go straight out to the Wolves, and then straight out to the Chickens. After that I get to Red Buff. This is actually pretty negative for me, sort of, because I can't gank anybody at level 3. I don't really have the mana, nor do I really have the health. I could have ganked now, but it would have been weak without the at least the Red Buff, right? So I'm just kind of going for a level 4 clear. I'll backtrack back to blue to make sure I can secure it and get the Gromp once again. Lee Sin, fortunately, is off to a rather slow start as well. I, I'm not too sure, but I figured he might have tried invading me and I just wasn't there anymore. So he just kind of gave up. Either way, Lissandra killed my Ilaoi for the first blood and I kind of need a reinforcer for a little bit. Because Ilaoi is somebody that you can sort of unlock. If you let her get crazy, she's going to just get crazy up there, right? Anyhow, this isn't gonna go as planned. I, Ilaoi is unfortunately someone who really can't help a gank unless she manages to get that little ghost tentacle on somebody. So I, I try kind of for a little desperate kill here, and I manage to only just auto attack her and take a huge chunk of damage for myself. I contemplate tower diving her right after, right now when she gets a little bit lower health. I even go to the river and think maybe I can loop around and tower dive her there, but she's very risky to tower dive and Lee Sin might just come back and, you know, destroy me. So, I decide just to secure the Skoda Crab, which is annoying as all fuck. And then I make myself, I make my way back up top since it seems to be pushing in Laoi's favor. However, though, this is a quite a desperate gank with a flashy Q. Flashy Q, miss, and we can't continue tower diving because we don't have a minion line and we take too much tower damage. Probably die, and if Lee Sin shows up, it'd be even more pathetic. So, unfortunately, I can't help you, Laoi, but Morgana is destroying the Zed. She's doing a rather fine job at it too, which is, which my fans have said that Zed should be able to just absolutely destroy Morgana, which of course, as you can see, is not really happening. Anyhow, my bottom lane is begging for a gank, and honestly, yeah, they're, they, they're a good gank target. The enemy bottom lane is pushed out quite a bit, even though Braum is pretty uh, dangerous to gank as Jarvan since you don't really have enough damage. So I at least try to make my way down bottom. I kind of got sidetracked because I found myself a ward and Zed was kind of face checking the bush. I almost caught him, but he ended up flashing, which is still pretty much a positive gain. Anyways, watch this. I, I've seen the Lucian and the Braum are pushing a little too far ahead. They're trying to get, take pot shots at my teammates. So just wait here behind the wall and I wait for Lucian to get close enough and EQ. But unfortunately, Janna ends up saving the Lucian. She did not... I, I understood what she wanted to do, but unfortunately, even if it did work, it wouldn't have done that much. She was a little too far for that flash. Still though, say it, it burned. Still though, it burned a few things from the enemy, and at least so I learned one thing about them. Here, this is what perhaps one of the most important lessons you can take from this video. The Janna is gonna ward that bush right there in the river, and notice two things there. Right now, wards, two dead wards. All right. To me, that tells me they don't haven't refreshed this probably because otherwise it would have gotten away, right? Or their trinket boards. So I EQ over the wall and hide myself here. And the enemy team gets a little too aggro because they think I'm not around. And to their surprise, hello, I'm Jarvan. I use my ultimate. I trap both Brahm and Lucian, and I manage to get the Lucian and men eventually beat him down to death. Unfortunately for us, the Zed and the Leeson show up and get some retribution kills. We all, three of us end up dying. Here, I, I don't make it out alive. But fortunately, Morgana shows up just in time to also kill Lee Sin, and we end up trading three for three. The Zed gets all the kills on one end, and for me, the kills are a little bit spread out, so depending on how you look at it, it's kind of a, a net gain for my team. Both team compositions are relying on who gets to jump on the other. If we jump them, we can easily kill them. We're going for damage, which is why I'm also building damage Jarvan. The enemy team also can take the jump on us and absolutely destroy our damage dealers or some of more more squishier targets and we really can make a comeback from that so it really is just kind of a we kill you first kind of situation thankfully though like their lee sin is rather pretty much taken out of this game right now 
he's a little too far behind me, so his damage contribution to his team as a jungler is pretty low. And Laoi, thankfully, is pretty big on my team, so she's going to be this immovable walking uh, Hawaiian of death. Either way, though, as far as placement matches go, I haven't really seen that many multi queues. You know, technically, it's a dynamic queue. So I think this one did have a dual queue, but I couldn't figure out who it was. And then all the rest of the games I've had had dual queues, with one of them having a tri queue. Anyways, here is one of the things that all of you love Ilaoi's quote unquote balance when it comes to melee range. I know she's technically a pretty balanced champion, but this shit's ridiculous. It's like there's nothing they can do if they fight anywhere around those tentacles, they get all hand tied up the ass. So, watch this though, I love this. I end up walking into this bush and Lissandra surprises me and almost takes me out if it wasn't for Gianna saving me. So we give ourselves a free Lissandra. And then Lucian comes in blasting away at me, but Gianna and the, and the golems save my life. The jungle defense stonewall. And then Zen misses uh, Shadow Q. So I end up surviving with a sliver of health. Hooray for me. So far, yes, the, the new season's off to a good start for a lot of people, I'm surprised. Except, unless you're European, you're not really having a lot of technical issues. And a lot of people seem to be a lot more happier with the roles. However, I'm not, I'm not too happy with them. If I would trade a longer queue, if I could only lock in uh, jungle. I've played more top lane games already than I have jungle. And it's kind of bumming me out. I, I don't mind waiting three times as long if I could just keep playing jungle every damn game. And I, I feel bad for the support players who only play support, but but kind of have to pick top lane or mid, and then they get stuck playing top and mid. Anyhow, as you can see, my team has started taking control of the map. We can still lose because their damage is ridiculously high, but Elaoi is just kind of locking at least her area of the game down. No one can mess with her, and unless we leave her alone, she'll pretty much be able to one-man one woman down the enemy team, right? I Again, I'll repeat, I built myself mostly damage. My next item was about uh, going to be a Ghost Blade. Because if even if I survive the damage, even if I build Tank Jarvan, uh, even if I survive the first volley, if my teammates can't finish him off in one round, we're all going to get wiped out. And then me, I wouldn't be able to do anything. The Morgana, I think, got baited up by a fake AFK from the Lissandra and got fucking destroyed. Uh, the enemy team even gloated saying that she wasn't really AFK and got her, and got themselves a free easy kill. Speaking of free easy kills, the Lucian and Bram overcommit and a simple EQ ultimate with a smite on the Lucian brings them down. I get myself a double kill. I know, I could have given it to Ezreal but he's been a dick the entire game so I'd rather not. Or at least partially the game. He, after I got him a few, you know, inter after I pulled off some clever ganks or the EQ into the bush he stopped kind of yelling at us so he chilled the fuck out and still though me being able to execute probably someone like Lissandra or the Lucian is just as good anyhow any noise you hear in the background just just uh, note that to really really annoying neighbors anyhow I'm hoping you guys are also having fun or at least enjoying yourself with the placement matches I'm surprising I'm surprisingly enjoying myself the new uh, the new match system, the one where you get to just pick jungle or top, as much as I don't like only having to play top sometimes, I still enjoy that a lot better. I never have to worry about being support and losing my uh, promotion matches because, oh shit, the, the crucial support match, I have to play Soraka. I gotta play my, well, Soraka's good right now. I gotta play a Tarek or a support, I don't know how to play, something like that, right? The enemy team at this point just kind of gave up. You can see them picking them off. They're kind of getting a little too aggro. And I mean, I'm just waiting in the outskirts, just kind of hoping somebody blunders into EQ range and I can destroy them with my ultimate. But unfortunately, not much comes of this. We're just running around, setting up, waiting for them to ha uh, open, the cells, yeah, open themselves up. Lucian gets a little too close. Oh, Lucian's getting a little too close, and I'm just trying to EQ him. Zed is going to use his uh, ultimate on me, but I don't, I, I don't know how he died. Right? Okay, I know he got, got killed by the, what you call it, the Ilaoi thing, but I don't know the sequence of damage that was dealt there. I, I didn't, I didn't think he'd do that much damage. Either way, game's over. I won my first placement match. Hooray for me! And hopefully, you guys have as much luck as I am having so far. Hooray!